Okay, um, got a question concerning dimensions. I just had the damn tape measure here. Dimensions of the flow frame, um, the box, due to the number of um, um, actual frames um, that could be placed in there. Eight versus nine, as I can get in mine. So let me take this off. Show you something here in a moment. I had a um, um, OCD moment and I sanded everything so I got everything smooth. But also I had made comment about the door on the other side a little snug. And after just a little bit of sanding, not much at all, it um, really fixed it well. So um, I went on and sanded all the edges. I know from past woodworking experience that if edges are smooth, they're unlikely to splinter because they're unlikely to catch things as um, sharp edges do. Again, here is the box. Let me pull out one additional frame here. And again, I can, um, hopefully it's able to see it in the view. Let me take a look. Let me get the camera a little closer so we can really take a look at it well. There. So, all snug and this last frame can go in here and just drop right in. So it's nothing in, in order to get it out. Now it is tight. I don't know, you know what it's going to be required to um, get it out when it's got all the wax and the bees on it. But right now, with everything tight against the edges, you know, there is probably a sixteenth of an inch. I think that's what this measurement is, the least of it. Half, quarter, eighth, sixteenth, yes. There is a sixteenth of an inch gap, even with eight, nine frames in here, snug. So somebody asked yesterday what the dimension of the hive is. So I'm going to put it right here on number two and stretch it out over here. And it's Almost exact. Let's do here at the end because that might be bowed slightly for whatever reason. So right on two, and it measures 14 and a half, almost exactly 14 and a half. It may be a fraction over, uh, one thirty seconds over, but 14 and a half. So I'm on two, so that's 12 and a half inches exactly inside dimensions. Um, the length is always, uh, my understanding, nothing changes on that. But let me come back around here. And we'll put it right on two. And measure here. And let's go again at the end so that we don't have any bowing or anything. It's 21 and one, two, three three sixteenths so um, 19 and three sixteenths almost 19 and a quarter if not exactly 19 and a quarter so I'm trying to be as accurate as I can here so I want to show pull the camera around here and show what I did on the front here oh wrong area here is the hive um, I'll put it back on top so we can see it. So, pulling it out, you know, that now comes out nice and easy. What's nice is this now slides out nice and easy. So all I did was nothing more than sanding it, making the edges a little rounder um, so that it does move in and out easily. Did not sand this up here. This gap was already there like that. Um, 
So looking back at the design of the prototype that Stu was showing, this arc didn't come any higher than this right here. So that's why, you know, this, this arc is a little, has modified over time, but now this has gotten a little tight now because now I can't even, yeah, I could probably open it here. Yeah, it just makes it a little bit tighter on pulling it out. So it does still work. I didn't even try that a second time. And I made that black. I didn't like, <sighs> it wasn't as dark um, as I wanted it. It was um, just an outline, if you look on the website. But on the back side over here, I like how it looked. So that's why I just mimicked, you know, similar to that. I just like the look. Hope this answers everybody's question.